guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my DID sale recommendations. These are some of the products that I really enjoy and I think now that you're getting that 20% off, I think this is going to be the time to buy some of these products because some of the products that I'm going to show you are a bit pricey, but they're well worth it. So let's go ahead and get into my recommendations. So the first thing I want to show you is this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This primer is so good, guys. It is like moisturizing to the skin. It is a perfect primer for the cold months to come. So guys, try this primerizer. You will not be sorry. It primes and moisturizes my skin at the same time. The next primer I wanna talk about is this Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clot Blur Primer. This primer is fairly pricey, but it does a wonderful job of priming the skin and just making the makeup look really nice when you apply it on top of this. So it's a really good primer. It has like these little gold flecks in it, but those gold flecks you cannot see on your face. It is just a really good blurring primer. I love this primer. As you can see, I've used quite a bit, but I try not to use it as much because it is so expensive. So I only try to use it during special occasions, or if I'm just gonna do a full makeup look, I try to go with this primer. So let me go ahead and show you the next primer that I wanna recommend, and that's the Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer. This primer is so good, guys. It is one of those primers that when you put it on your skin, you just feel like you've laid a nice canvas for that makeup application, and it just works really well. So I interchange this one and this one from time to time when I wanna do like a full makeup look or it's for like a special occasion. Yeah, I don't like to use these that often because they are very pricey. So I like to just kind of use them interchangeably as I go throughout the year. So during this sale, Charlotte Tilbury is gonna be available. And guys, I would recommend that you get your hands on anything that you like from the Charlotte Tilbury line because it is hardly ever on sale. I mean, you can't find her best sellers on sale like ever. So I wanna recommend some of the products that I truly love from Charlotte Tilbury, and one of them is the Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I'm in the number six. This is such a beautiful product on the skin. It just gives you that glow from within look, and it just applies so nicely with your foundations. This is one of my favorite products from her line, so I would truly recommend this product. Another product that I cannot get over and I've been loving is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder for under eye and face. It's the Genius Powder. This powder is insane it is so good every time i wear it i get compliments on my skin so i've never seen a powder go on so well as i have the genius powder so guys if you can get your hands on the powder do it the number one is a lighter skin tone i did purchase that for my under eyes the number two is what i use all over my face that's for more medium skin tones and then there's the number three for darker skin tones so Get your hands on this powder if you guys can. It is so good. Guys, you're gonna see quite a few Charlotte Tilbury products here because I truly love her products. But another product I wanna recommend is the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I have it in the shade seven and the shade six. This concealer is phenomenal. It goes on so smoothly under the eyes. I don't have it on today because I used some different products that I actually filmed today, but this concealer is so good. I have been using this like crazy it is so good this concealer is full coverage it goes on seamlessly it just looks beautiful on the under eyes so this is something that i would recommend to purchase another charlotte tilbury powder is the airbrush flawless finish powder i'm in the shade two this powder is so good guys to carry like in your purse to do touch-ups to set your makeup it's just a beautiful airbrush flawless powder and it just looks really beautiful on the skin. Now that I've gotten the Genius Powder, I use this in my purse and I just use it to touch up throughout the day, but it just looks beautiful on the skin. Another Charlotte Tilbury product and I think it, is this the last one? Okay, so I've got two more Charlotte Tilbury products that I wanna show you and one of them is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. It comes like this, well it looks like this and it comes like this. You've got your bronzer, and you've got your highlighter. Both of these products work really well on my skin. Um, I use this one to actually contour with, and then this one is just a beautiful, nice, um, light highlighter. It's not too intense, but it's not too light that you can't see it. It just looks really pretty on the skin. This is in the lighter one. There is a darker one that they came out with for darker skin tones, and it's just as beautiful as this one. 
So the last Charlotte Tilbury product that I want to talk about is this Chic to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher. And I have the color Sex on Fire. They come in like this burgundy case and then they have a shade on the outside and then a shade on the inside. And this is such a beautiful, it's just a beautiful mauve tone and it pretty much goes with a lot of the looks that I do. But that's it right there. It's so gorgeous. All of her blushes are really good. This is the only one that I have and I plan on getting more um, hopefully during the sale. So yeah, try her blushes, they're really good. Okay, so that was all of the Charlotte Tilbury products. I'm gonna go ahead and mention a few foundations that I think you guys should try. One of them is the Cover FX Power Play. I use this foundation a lot. So like if I'm going somewhere where um, I'm gonna need to wear it for a long period of time, I'll grab the Cover FX because I've noticed that this one is like long lasting it works really well on the skin um, and it blends beautifully. And there's so many shades to choose from. So I have G50 and G60. Sometimes I have to mix these depending on what my skin tone is. These are really good long lasting foundations and they look really nice on the skin. The other one I wanna mention that's long lasting and I love it is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. This is a foundation that I've done a review on and I absolutely love this foundation. I use this one interchangeably with the power play if i'm going to like a special event or there's a special occasion that i'm getting ready for i will use the laura mercier i love this foundation it has like really good buildable coverage it's just a really nice foundation and it just looks really nice on the skin and, and this again has a lot of shades that you can choose from so the last foundation that i want to recommend is the bare minerals bare pro foundation this foundation is such a good foundation for everyday wear it is like so good for your skin. It has a lot of good ingredients. Um, they even claim that you can sleep in it, which I don't recommend, but if they're claiming you can sleep in it, it has some good stuff in it. So this is a foundation that I gravitate towards mostly during the day when I'm just going to work or I'm just gonna go run errands or I'm just gonna go you know, out for lunch or something like that. But it is such a great foundation for everyday wear and it's long lasting and it has about a high medium coverage. It's not completely full coverage, but that's okay because I really love this foundation. So a concealer that I think you guys should try if you haven't already is, is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have two shades here, I have golden beige and natural beige. Both of these shades are great for me. Most of the time I'll mix them together to get that perfect shade, but it's a very hydrating concealer. It blends really nicely under the eyes. It does not crease and I really, really enjoy it. So this is a good concealer along with the Charlotte Tilbury concealer to try if you haven't already. Let me talk about a couple of setting sprays. One of them is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. This is a primer and a setting spray. I think this one is so good for everyday use. It just really hydrates the skin. And especially now when it's getting really cold and dry outside, this is like the perfect primer or setting spray when applying your makeup. So I really like the Too Faced one. And this one I just purchased in the last sale that they had and it's the Dior Air Flash Radiance Mist. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so beautiful. I have it on today. And it just feels like, it just feels so refreshing on the skin. I just really love how it sets my makeup. And you can also use this as a primer as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a really good primer slash setting spray, I would actually go with this one. It has a little bit more radiance to it. It just looks really beautiful on the skin. So the sale would be a good time to purchase this. I've got quite a few things here, guys. I'm trying to get it all in one video and get it out today because the sale starts tomorrow. So I have to get this out really quickly this afternoon so that you guys will at least have it before you go to the sale. So anyway, the shadow palettes that I would recommend purchasing at this sale is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. This palette is insane. It's so beautiful. It has all those beautiful bronzy gold shades and they look so good on the eyes, guys. They have high pigmentation, great blendability, and I just absolutely love this palette. So this palette came out not too long ago, and I, I did a tutorial on this, so check that out. I'll link it here. But anyways, guys, this is a good one to get at the sale. And another Natasha Denona palette that I think you guys should 
actually take a look at and get at the sale, the Natasha Denona Camel palette. This is your everyday palette. Look at those colors, how beautiful. It does have a lot of the camel shades, like the camel browns, and then a dark brown, and then it has a shimmery shade here, and also kind of a, a frosted shade here, but it is such a gorgeous palette. You can use these alone, or you can mix them together and create your own look. So these two palettes I would highly recommend. And then I would also recommend the Hourglass Unedited palette. It's this one here. I just recently purchased this one. I think this one was $80. So for the 20% off of 80, you're getting a really good deal. And it comes with a bronzer, it comes with two, two blushes, it comes with two setting powders, and then this one right here is a highlighter. But this is such a great palette. This bronzer in here, guys, is gorgeous. As a matter of fact, I have it on today, and I absolutely love it. So this is a great palette to purchase. It has everything in here you need for your face. It has the blush, it has the highlighter, has a setting powder and it also has the bronzer. So I believe this is a really good deal during this sale. Okay, another product from Hourglass is the Radiant Bronze Light. It's this one here. I've had this for quite a long time and I started using it because I went to the last sale. I was gonna buy a different one, but I'm glad I didn't and I stayed with this one because this one is just so beautiful on the skin. It just gives like this really nice, soft shimmer glow to the skin along with the bronzing effect. So yeah, this is a good bronzer to purchase during this sale. And then I have this highlighter here, the Guilty Marc Jacobs highlighter. This highlighter is so gorgeous. It's like this gold shade that has kind of like a pinkish undertone and I'll show it to you right here. This is it right here. I don't know. If the camera's doing it any justice, but it's so beautiful, guys. It looks so gorgeous on the skin. And you can actually use this anywhere. You can use it on your decollete, you can use it on your shoulders, you can use it on your inner corner, you can use it for a lot of things. So yeah, this is a beautiful highlighter, and this is something that you guys need to look into. I forgot to mention another setting powder, and it's the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. This powder is beautiful. When you put it on the skin, your skin looks like really soft. Um, it just lays beautifully over the makeup and I really love it. I really like it for setting my makeup. So guys, this is a good powder along with the Charlotte Tilbury. But if I had to choose between both of them, I would get the Charlotte Tilbury. This is still a good powder, but if I had to choose, I would get the Genius Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. So. Anyway, um, let's see. So the last products I wanna show you are some lip products and then I have one hair product that I wanna show you. First lip products I wanna show you are the Pat McGrath lipsticks. So these are both called the Matte Trance lipsticks. One of them is in the shade 1995. It's this beautiful like beigey brown tone and I'll swatch it for you so you can see. Oh my gosh, these are so creamy guys. These are like so stinking creamy. They're so good. And then the other one is called, oh, I love this red. It's called Elson. And it's this red shade, kind of like a blue red. Perfect for the holidays. That's 1995 and that's Elson. Look how gorgeous those are. These are very creamy for matte formulas. So when you put them on your lips, they don't feel drying. They don't feel like your lips are gonna get chapped or cracked. They feel really nice and moisturizing for matte lipsticks. So that brand is a brand you need to look into, the Pat McGrath lipsticks. The other two lipsticks I would recommend are the Bobbi Brown lipsticks. These are the Lux Lip Color lipsticks. These are just as creamy as well. This one right here is called Mod 4, and I'll swatch it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, like, pinky nude shade. And that's it right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's it right there. It's just this beautiful pinky nude shade. I absolutely love this. I've never tried any of her lipsticks and I purchased this one and I'm gonna have to purchase more because I love the formulation of this lipstick. It feels really good on the lips and she has some really beautiful shades in this line. And the last lipstick I wanna mention is from Sephora. 
It's their Lip Stories collection. It comes in this little cardboard packaging. They've created different looks for each lipstick, but these lipsticks are so good. They're so pigmented. They're so creamy. This one right here that I have is called Somewhere in Spain, and it is a pinky beige, but it's a little bit darker than the Bobbi Brown. And it's right there, right here. It's so pretty. But yeah, these are so good for the price, and then you're getting that 20% off, so that's a deal. The last lip product I wanna talk about is the NARS Lip Lacquer in Santo Domingo. Guys, this is so gorgeous on the lips. I can't get over how beautiful this looks. But it's this really beautiful, I mean, glossy, mauve pinky toned shade. There it is right there. Oh my gosh, it looks so gorgeous on the lips. I want to put some on right now, but I don't want to mess up. So let me just put a little bit on. I love this shade. And it feels so good on the lips. It doesn't feel like sticky or tacky or anything like that. And it's so pigmented. I think they have like eight of these lip lacquers, but this is the one that I absolutely love. Okay, so the last product is a hair product and it's the Taka Hair Fragrance in Florence. This is the bottle that it comes in, such a beautiful bottle, but it smells, oh my gosh, it smells like, um, kind of like, what's, what's that scent? I wanna say jasmine, it smells kind of like jasmine. It smells like really refreshing and what this is, is this is like a hair perfume. So you can use this, like say if you do your hair and the next day you don't wash it, you can put this all over your hair and it'll just, it just smells like a bed of flowers. It smells really good. Look, this is how much I've used of this. It's so good. I really recommend this product for your hair if you're looking to just, you know, refresh your hair or even to put it on right after you style your hair. So yeah, good product to look at during this sale. So this product is what I left for the end because I just did a first impressions video for this beauty line. I wanna mention something from this line that I think that you really need to get during the sale. Because what I'm about to mention is so awesome. It is such a good product. So the product that I wanna mention is the Kaja Bento Trios. They're the eyeshadow trios. They look like this. One of them is rose water, and the other one is toasted caramel. I used rose water today in a first impressions tutorial, and guys, I absolutely love these shadows. They are so pigmented, it's just, Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. It's like a little bento, you know, like those little bento boxes that you can get the food in, like when you order sushi and stuff, but it's so cute. The shadow that I have on my eyelid today is this one. It's the plum shade. And then I have the ballerina shade, the ballerina shade here in the center of my eyelids. And guys, I can't get over these. These are so good. So I had to mention them in the recommendations, even though I did a first impressions video um, today and I haven't edited it yet, but I will and I'll get that out soon so you guys can see how I felt about the other products. Not to say that just because I didn't recommend the other products that they're not good. What I'm saying is, is that I think these are gonna go quick because they are so good. So guys, you need to look into the Kaja Bento Trio eyeshadow palettes. These little things here, these are so good. Okay guys, I forgot to mention the Secret Blurring Powder by Laura Mercier. This is a must for the sale. So guys, these are all of my recommendations and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you very quickly what I think I'm gonna get during the sale. I may not get everything that's on my list, but I'm gonna tell you very quickly what I'm looking at getting. So let me go to my app. I'm looking at getting the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Eyeshadow Palette in Dolce Vita. I don't have anything from her eyeshadow line. So I don't have any eyeshadow palette, so I wanted to try one of those. I'm also looking at the Marc Jacobs Beauty Sequins Glam Glitter Eyeshadow in Topaz Flash. Two of the blushes that I'm thinking about getting by Charlotte Tilbury are the Climax Blush and the Ecstasy Blush. And then I'm looking at the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat, the Holiday ones. One is in Full Metal Black and the other one is in Full Metal Bronze. 
Um, also, the Kevin Aquan Nude Pop Pro eyeshadow palette. That's limited edition palette, so I want to try to get my hands on that. Another thing is the Pat McGrath Holiday Matte Trance Lipstick in, I don't know how to say this, Junivere? Junivere? Um, the other thing is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Genius Powder in the number three. I'm thinking about using that for bronzer. And then um, the NARS Spiked Audacious Lipstick in, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess up this too, is Su 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 I think that's how you say it. The last two things are the Givenchy Healthy Glow Bronzer in the number three. Another of the Marc Jacobs Beauty Sequins Glam Glitter Eyeshadow in Blitz Glitz. So those are some of the things that I'm looking at getting. I can't say whether I'm gonna get all of them, but um, I'm really thinking about getting those particular items. Anyway, that's it for my recommendations. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go because I've gotta edit this and get this out to you tonight before the sale. So you guys will have at least my list of recommendations in your phone so that you guys won't miss out on some of the great products that I just showed you. So anyways, thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.